in this video series, we'll be talking about some BGP scenario based questions, questions you are more likely to encounter in the interviews or maybe in your production environment as well. So, for example, one question that we have here that the customer is a customer complains about some intermittent connectivity issue to a specific destination. Uh, you suspect a BGP related problem. How are we going to troubleshoot this issue? Okay. So to fix this problem or to troubleshoot this issue, like we can have, like, uh, we can go for like some steps. We can uh, try to troubleshoot this issue in some steps. So first thing first, like we are going to do, let's, let's say that the destination that they are trying to reach is the destination X. So first thing that we are going to do, we are going to use the tools such as, for example, either ping or trace to see if the connectivity is okay, or is it really like flapping, coming up, going down, coming up, going down. Typically, we are going to use tools such as, for example, trace to see like where actually the drops are happening. Because once we have identified that where exactly the dropping is happening, uh, like what is the location where the drops are there, at what point the packets are getting dropped, so troubleshooting becomes a little bit easier. Remember that you can take like, you know, variety of approaches to troubleshoot the network, but here, when we talk about like this uh, a trace tool, trace tool is going to give you like an, an idea, like up to this point, everything is okay. And beyond that, the connectivity issue is there. So first thing first, we should use the tools such as, for example, ping or trace or some other tools to do the connectivity testing. We should check like where the packet is exactly getting dropped. Once we found out that, okay, up to this point, everything is okay. Maybe the packet is getting dropped right at the source. Maybe the packet is getting dropped after some hops. Once we have identified that, okay, the packet is getting dropped at at this point, we can begin our BGP tree shoot. Okay. So once you have identified that the packets are getting dropped at a certain point, or maybe at the source itself, two things you need to check regarding the BGP. In BGP, whenever we need to perform the tree shoot, we need to check two things. One thing that we need to check is the neighborship. One thing that is that is what we need to check is the routes. BGP is a protocol that forms the BGP neighbor relationship or called neighborship before it exchanges the route with the neighboring devices. So you need to check all the possible conditions. You need to see how long it's been since the origination of the, since the uh, neighborship establishment. Use the command like show IP BGP summary, right? Or show B, if it is like IPv6, show BGP IPv6 unique ask summary and all that. You can use variety of commands to check like the BGP neighborship. There it shows you a time referred to as like, you know, up down, like how long it's been since the uh, establishment of this BGP neighborship. You can try to find out if the BGP neighborship is established or is it flapping? Because, because if the BGP neighborship is flapping, there could be chances. It, it could be a possible reason that your uh, reachability is going up and down based on the same. So if the BGP neighborship is stable, then you can check the routes like uh, are, we are, uh, are we receiving the appropriate routes in the routing table, in the BGP table, and all, the, all those routes are installed in the routing table or not. Right, but if the neighborship is flapping due to some reason, you need to troubleshoot everything regarding the neighbor. Like you need to find out all the possible conditions because of which the BGP neighborship cannot be established or might flap frequently, such as, for example, check for the remote years, check for the password, check for the update source, check for uh, like uh, ACLs, someone might have blocked, you know, TCP port number uh, 179. So just, just do all the basic verification checks regarding the BGP neighborship. Make sure that the BGP neighborship is up and running. Then when it comes to like checking if the routes are uh, stable or not, then you can use the command either show IP BGP. Or you can check like show BGP IPv4 unicast and all that. Like if you want to check for the other address family, you can use the command. You can use the command to validate if the routes are stable in the BGP database and in the routing table or not. Right? Oh, we might have performed like maybe maybe the route to reach to that destination is not there because we have applied some sort of like a filtering, filtering based on ACL, based on prefix list, based on like AS path list, communities, different different like ways are there in BGP that we can use to perform the route filtering. So maybe we are not even receiving the route to reach to that particular destination, right? So try to troubleshoot all the things regarding the routes, why a certain route is not available in the routing table. And if, if the route is flapping or what, 
because if the route is available but it is flapping again intermittent issue connectivity problem you might face we can implement features such as for example like once if if the route is flapping then we can enable the features such as for example bgp dampening which is going to damp the route until it gets stable so uh, we can also check for like you know dampening configurations we can also check for route filtering parameters right we can uh, when it when we are troubleshooting the neighborship we can also validate the timers and everything because sometimes if we misconfigure the timer you will notice that the bgp neighborship will come up and then go down come up go down if the timers like the uh, keep alive timer and the whole timer is not correct then the bgp neighborship might be down uh, also make sure like uh, route selection process like you know bgp best path selection process or route selection algorithm that we have we can apply a variety of attributes to influence bgp best path selection process typically we use uh, things such as for example route map to influence like incoming routes outgoing routes and all that sometimes what happens when we apply the route map we forget to mention the keywords such as permit any at the end because of which routes might not be available in your routing table so also like you know uh, make sure that you have enabled proper route map with proper you know statements so that the routes are installed in the routing table if you have done some manipulation with the with the help of the route map make sure the manipulation such as for example changing the med multi exit discriminator changing the path attributes any path attributes such as for example med or the uh, as path list or the origin code make, make sure that the route manipulation is done properly right uh, there could also be a chance of routing loop so make sure like the routing loops are not there when you are doing the trace in the ping and trace when we are doing the ping and trace make sure that the traffic is not basically hitting uh, repeatedly between two or more devices right so in this situation you might also see you might also see that the routing loops routing loops might also cause the drops in the network so make sure that the uh, routing loops are not there all right also what 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 else we can check we can check for like uh, in this situation we can check for like congestion so sometimes what happens like the net because of the network congestion uh, the packets might get dropped so what we can do next thing that we can check for is the congestion in the network so there are chances like the network congestion is there and because of the network congestion packets are getting dropped that could also be a reason that could also be a case so uh, we can use a variety of tools such as for example snmp we can use tools such as for example netflow we can use to uh, we can use these tools to check the flow of the network we can use to we can use these tools to check uh, the congestion in the network we can monitor the network traffic and we can check for congested links as well right uh, also check for like any hardware failure like uh, you might you might have like for example a failed hardware in the network you might have let's say for example uh, the software has crashed or something like that so uh, for hardware and software issues you might also uh, need to see because maybe you have implemented you have just installed a new software onto your device and in that software the bgp pairing is not getting stable due to some bugs or so so you should also see for like you know hardware and software related issues so maybe a router that you have installed it is faulty maybe uh, the cables like that you have used to connect two or more devices like routers or switches or whatever maybe those cables are not performing well uh, or maybe the network interface card that we have where the cable is connected the pins of that network interface card is not uh, okay it can also you know cause an intermittent connectivity issue so these are some general general you know issues that uh, general suggestions that are there that you can use to uh, check and find why the intermittent connectivity issue is there when it comes to bgp specifically based on what type of topology is there when it comes to bgp mostly you need to troubleshoot like if the bgp neighborship and you need to troubleshoot if the routes are there in the bgp table and in the routing table if the neighborship is stable if the routing issue is not there if you are having the routes throughout the path from source to the destination then some other problem might be there causing the intermittent connectivity issue not the bgp one right so check for like cpu utilization and, and as well because bgp is a protocol that consumes like a lot of resources so you might also need to check if like uh, 
the CPU utilization on the device is not going very high because of this BGP. BGP is a very heavy protocol. It can also result in like uh, high CPU utilization on the device because of that drops can be expected. So some intermittent, intermittent connectivity issue can be there because of that as well. So these are some general you know, suggestions that uh, you can take to fix this problem of intermittent connectivity issue. These problems are these solutions, these uh, recommendations are specifically from the BGP point of view. Some other issues can be there as well.